Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new series on a game called Elite Dangerous Horizons. So Elite Dangerous Horizons is the first expansion pack to Elite Dangerous, which is the space exploration and adventure game. That's kind of a sandboxy sort of feel to it, where there is the entire universe out there for you to explore and and generally have fun as you trade and kill pirates and bounty hunt and all sorts of things. So this expansion pack adds the availability of planetary landing and a little bit of planetary exploration on certain planets without atmosphere. Uh, there will be more modules to it or more patches to this to expand on it here in the future. If you did want more information about it, down below is a link in the video description you can take to check it out. There is also an affiliate link if you did want to purchase it yourself. And I believe it, it is kind of expensive. It's like 40 bucks for... Uh, for the expansion pack and then 30 to go on to the or you have to get the original game for 30 and then I think it's 40 for the expansion pack too so a little bit steep if if you did want to fly around in space if not you can just sit back and enjoy the series so what has happened uh, since we've been gone it's been about a year since I last played it this adds basically a well the system maps already there and we can load up the system map, and we can see that there's going to be planets here. All right, so I'm in the system in the Lactonicaia. I am bad with names. So this is a little bit different than what we've seen before. You can see these blue lines around it. That means it is a landable planet. If I click on this, it'll show us, if I go into the right screen, that it has no atmosphere, and its composition is 82% ice. So there's no atmosphere that allows us to land on it. And the same with that one and all of these, except this one's a little bit different. If we check out this, this is the planetary map, and this has Griffin Depot on it. So Griffin Depot is a uh, a station or a depot on the planet that you can land on or land close to and drive around and explore. Some of them allow you to land in them directly and trade and get uh, missions and other things like that. So I'm going to exit. Well, actually, I'm going to go back. And I'll show you where I'm at now. So I'm in where this yellow dot is. I'm in a, a Lacton Asia, or whatever it is. And I'm in the planetary map there. And I'm in Marsden Enterprise. So that is where I'm at currently. And you can see it actually has economy. And there's a, a colony economy with imports and exports. And there's certain things prohibited. I thought this was funny. So it exports slaves, but it has slaves prohibited. I thought that was kind of weird. This is a anarchy system as well. So you can kind of do anything, free roam, do what you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off from this station uh, after I show you the bounty board, or the, what is it, the mission board. And then we're going to go over to this one and drive around a little bit. Because it's sunlight, uh, there is the sunlight and the darkness and things, and there's a station here that's close to it. So it'll show you the, the getting in and leaving of the planet. So we're going to go here, uh, we're going to go back to the main screen and starport services. Uh, if we go to the outfitting screen... In order to go into the planets, you have to have the Planetary Approach Suite. So this allows you to actually go into Planetary Cruise. And then once you do get close to the planet, you have to have the Vehicle Hangar and a Vehicle Bay. So that guy right there, the Vehicle Bay, allows you to get a, I think it's SRV or SVR, something like that. And that allows you to land down on the ground. Uh, the livery, does that work? No, that's the painting. Okay. So let's go back, and we can go to the bulletin board. The bulletin board has some missions and some quests that you can take. I apologize if I sound a bit nasalated in this video. I've got uh, a cold going on right now. So we're going to hopefully clear that up shortly. So you can see here we get some uh, surface missions we can do. So these are all new, and we can open the gate. So some of these are kind of neat. Opening the gate here allows you to... Uh, basically you go in and you destroy a generator that attaches to a fuel pump. We can decline that. Uh, backdoor access. Some of these have different things. Data retrieval. You can drive up right next to it. But uh, I'm not going to be doing many of these because you can see target location, planet. Uh, they're a little bit hard. Actually, this one's not so bad because it tells you where it is and then the system it is. Sometimes the system doesn't have the planets yet discovered, so you have to fly around discovering them. And I know that one for sure does because I tried that and it took me forever. So installation, uh, some of these, you can see the different systems and go to them. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to fly around and have some fun. So let's launch up and see what we can do. I always like that, being able to go back. So let's check it out. This is the planet. Uh, we're on the planet's surface. These guys over here are sentries. They're kind of like quadcopters or dual copters, and they fly around with their 
little sentry and they can scan things on the ground. So they're they're kind of the defense force. Some people or some places have turrets as well. But yeah, this one's pretty dark. We're gonna get rid of our landing gear, put that up. Landing gear retracted. Okay. So yeah, we got another sentry over there. There's a quadcopter Goliath. <laughs> That's kinda cool. So this is the plant, or this is the station. We can actually fly through these things, or they're actually there. They're not just a, a hologram. And you can see our we have a a certain setup. So we're we're at like now we're at 10% angle, so we're going down towards the ground. And if we go up, that's zero, that's the horizon line. And we can go up and up and up and up and up and up. They kind of boost up. We can go at, it's about an 85 to 90 degree angle. Can't quite hit 90, 90 88. Oh, yep, see, 89%. That'll allow us to get directly out of the planet's line. Uh, we need to get out of the gravity a little bit better. So once we get out of the gravity, we can go off to our next station, which is going to be, if I can go to the system map, we're going to pick this up. System map. Come on. There we go. So let's go over here. We're going to look at the planetary map. And we're going to go to Temple Plant. So I've already scoped this out. It should be still daytime there. I don't know if it actually, if the planets have rotation, if there is a day and night cycle, or if it's just they're, they're solid and only have light on one side. We'll exit out of that after we have it contained. And oh, let's go off into freeze mode. Drive charging. Cool. So the frame shift jar drive charges up. Three, two, two one. one. Engage. Two. Okay, now we're still, you can see it's still red. So we're still in the planetary's planet's influence. And I'm going to be butchering all these sciencey words. Uh, I guarantee it. Okay, we're getting farther and farther away. And we're picking up speed. You can see we're at 5 kilometers per second now. 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so we're going to try to get over to Temple Plant now that we're a little bit away from the planet. That we're currently on and we'll see if we can do this right sometimes you just need to keep going up and up and up into the sky or ooh, there's a distress call we'll get to you later okay and we'll stay at 87 percent try to get out of this there we go so we are kind of out of the influence now you can see we have oc and drop we'll get to that in a little bit oc is a uh, cruise orbital cruise and then the drop you drop down into a what is it called Oh, there we go, Temple Plant right over there. It's basically a glide mode where you glide down. It's using gravity, I think. And then once you get closer to the surface, you can use your engines to boost you around. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer here. This is Temple Plant where we're going. And in this main system screen, I'm, a, I'm gonna assume that you guys have seen this and you know what's going on here. Basically, this is the main map. You can see these lines are the orbital lines. And the temple plat here, or that's the sun or the star of the system. Unidentified signal source just past us. It can be anything from a trap to all sorts of fun stuff can happen there. So temple plant, if we slow down now, you can see the time below. It'll take us about a minute to get there at the current speed and the distance that we have, or 30 seconds. And then if it goes like a dotted line around that circle, then we will have, it'll be on the back side of the planet. So right now we're on the right side of the planet. The correct side, that yellow circle will go dotted if it is on the wrong side. So let's keep slowing it down. We got eight or 10 seconds to go into there. And I'm hoping this will work out nicely. There, you see it's dotted now, so it's on the, the other side of the planet. We'll try to get over it on the other side. It's always a good idea to come at these with an angle rather than just directly in, into it. So there's Temple Plant. Must be at the top of the planet, or the bottom of it, however you're oriented. So let's go in this way. Come on down. All right, eight seconds. You can see the blue line there is where we start to go into orbital cruise, I believe. This is on the top of the planet now. All right, let's boost up a little bit. Put our thrusters to full. Oh, we're getting interdicted. That's awesome. <laughs> Is that a, that's not a person. I'll just I'll just do it, and we'll try to kill him. Get my guns out. So this is actually a person attacking me, not a person, a NPC. We'll try it. We'll see what we can do here. 
and we have to scan them. You jerk. If we want, if we want the, what's it called? The bounty for him. Oh boy, you got a big ship. Alright, try this. Now you're on the wrong side of life. Okay, we'll select you. Imperial Clipper. It's lawless. Yeah, he's in a bad way now. We're on a good side of him. Excellent. Shields are down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan him now. Contacts. That's not how I scan him. I totally could scan him if I wanted to. <laughs> I'll just destroy him. Actually, no. Let's get to it. We'll scan him and see what he's got. Using a different uh, fire group here. Using the cargo scanner and the kill warrant scanner. Let's see if he has a. Okay, it's complete. I'm gonna cycle through these things again, and we'll see. Oh, hello. Not good. My shields are down as well. Oh, great. Can it be compromised? Now he's still attacking me. I shouldn't have taken the time to scan him. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're behind him now. got his shields back. Okay, we're behind him. No, we're not. We're in front of him. Boost away. Pull back. It's been a long time since I've done dog fighting. My shields are back. Good. You know, I should have used my, my shield boosters. There, we're behind him. This will get it. Awesome. 30%. There's my lasers. 16%. I don't even know if he's got... And this is a NPC, it's not a real person. I don't even know if he's got any cargo or anything he'll drop. But he won't, usually. 3%. 0%. Kaboomski. Oh, he did have some cargo. Hey, we got 68,000. And gold. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get the last landing gear. Where is it? Oopsies. Nope, that's not it. Man! I think it's. should be that one. There it is. Got it! Yeah! <laughs> Found my cargo scoop. So he does have gold. We'll take this quick. And come on in. Cargo acquired. Perfect. Let's get this one too, see what it is. Another gold canister. Excellent. Slow it down so we get a little closer. And we just keep it in the crosshairs as we keep going. So we got a nice little bounty. Cargo acquired. Perfect. So let's go back. Navigation. Uh, let's go back into where, where were we actually going? Temple plant. Alright. Temple plant. Yes, we're still going there. All right, so we gotta orient ourselves back. Oh, we're kind of close. Let's orient ourselves back here and go on in. We're going into orbital cruise mode. That's kind of cool. Go down to the planet here, and you can see it's still still all right. This little bar on the right side is the kilometers from from the surface. Once we get down to, I think it's 25 kilometers, it goes into drop mode, which is basically a cruise or a glide mode down to the planet. And we can get into that. We can also change our angle. You can see if it goes faster or farther down than 60%, then it's going to be broken. And we'll, we'll drop out and crash. Sort of. It's kind of weird. Uh, you can also see the planet rendering in right now. We can get down to, down to planet surface. Okay. We're getting close. 100 kilometers away. It's actually a decent angle we're going in. 45 is kind of nice to have. Planet rendered again. 50. 40. 35. 33, 32. And we should be in the glide mode here any second. Awesome. Glide mode activated. 
So Glide Mode will take us in. And there we go, Glide completed. So we're now under control of our own engines. Go down to the planet, go down to the temple plant. You can see there's a shadow being cast by the buildings here. I'm not so sure if it should be the same every time. If it is, this is just one building. It's got like a little moisture farm or something, some sort of farm going on. Whoa, slow down. I'm gonna crash hard. Yep, okay. Uh, let's get up a little bit closer so you guys can see this from the air, and then we'll drive around in with our SRV. And then we'll probably land, or we'll try to get back in. So let's check it out. We have little moisture farms on the sides. We got some sort of lights going there. A main building, and it looks like a little storage garage on the side. Okay, so let's find a good spot. Let's find a good spot to land somewhere flat. Oh, right over here. Look at the shadow. The shadow of the cobra. That's awesome. Alright, let's land it right here. We're going to put down our landing gear. Slow down. And then just go straight down. We should start getting a... There it is. Alignment okay. And... 3, 2, 1. Touchdown! Perfect! We look down now. We can actually see we have an SRV. We can deploy that vehicle. And now we're switching back. Do, do, do Here we go. A little bit dark, a clock, isn't it? Oh, that's a cool picture. Alright. Fly around here, driving. Drive around, it's not flying. Cool. This thing is it's kinda difficult to drive. Alright. Here we are! We made it! We're gonna turn around so we don't have a glare from the, the star. So see? We can just fly around here, drive around, get stuck on the, the lamp post. And have some drifting races. That'd be fun. Group up with someone else and go drifting for a little bit. Alright. So we can go out anywhere we want. This is one of the, my favorite things to do. If you kinda get a nice running start at something. Let's see. Like that. You can actually lift up with not that button, this button. So you can, you can do two together. You can get a little ramp going. Maybe. <laughs> get stuck sometimes. Like I said, it's difficult to drive this thing. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's great. It did exactly how I didn't want to do it and it worked out. Okay, let's switch around quick. Spin around. Alright. So let's get a, a start, running start at this, and then we're going to boost over it. Or right into it. <laughs> Whee! I love derping around with this thing. I have spent way too many hours trying to do this, and like my driving skill does not increase at all. Yeah, I almost made it up. Cool. Let's do one more attempt here. Try to get on top of that building. We're gonna spin around as soon as we land. Here we go. Uh, let's let's back it up. Okay. Slow, steady. All right, let's go forward now. And see if we can just jump right over this building entirely. Made it! Made it on it! Whee! You can see the shadow of the SRV, SVR, whatever it's called. We're floating, floating back to our Cobra. Cool. So now docking back in this thing is a little bit difficult. Oh, there is uh, there is the fire. Whoopsies. <laughs> Ship under attack. Uh, was not me. I didn't do it. And then we can go into turret mode too. We can control the turret. That's too close to the ship. Go back here. We can shoot. Pew, 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 pew. And we can move it around and shoot independently. We can still drive too. Which is very, very difficult to do. Yep, so let's get out of that mode, and we're just going to go back to Mr. Cobra. Hello, buddy. Okay, come on in. And you have to load these things from the front. Which is kind of weird. You'd think you'd be able to drive it in straight to the back and go with it. But nope, you have to load it from... You have to load it basically backing into the, the bay. Or you can go into sideways, kind of like I'm trying to do here but managing to fail. Surprise, surprise! Okay, switched around. 
Let's go in. There we go. I got stuck again, didn't I? Spin. Is this good? Yeah, I can. Board ship. Yay. All right. Lift it up. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We're gonna. Oh, we're gonna launch up into space. And I already showed you how to to jump or to leave the planet. We can show you that again, I guess. Get rid of the landing gear. Go straight up to like a 85% or so. 86% that'll work. 87. And we just sit here for a while. Give all the power to our engines and boost our way up. And once we get above the surface a little bit better, we go back to a station, repair the damage we took from the derp derp and call it good. So, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, let me know. Definitely check out the links down below in the video description if you are interested in the game. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.